Hi all, welcome to Tech Forum. In this video, let us see what is AEM Guides. AEM Guides is an add-on deployed onto AEM. AEM Guides was formerly branded as XML documentation for AEM. AEM Guides is a cloud native CCMS component content management system to manage product documentation, knowledge bases, user guides, help and support content from creation to delivery. Component Content Management System lets you manage the content at a granular level means at the component level rather than at the document level. It is a powerful enterprise grade CCMS which enables native DITA Darwin Information Typing Architecture support for Adobe Experience Manager that empowers AEM to handle DITA based content creation and delivery. The DITA based content can be published to the formats like AEM sites, PDF, HTML5, EPUB and custom output through DITA OT means DITA Open Toolkit. AEM guides enable us to easily create and collaborate on DITA assets with easy to use Waswick online web editors. Let us now see some of the capabilities of AEM guides. Structured content management enables content creation, versioning, translation, metadata management, even you can use workflow to automate the process. Web-based content creation, review and collaboration means you can use Waswick editors to perform creation, review and collaboration. You can migrate any of the content to data with the out-of-the-box ingestion framework and workflows. Next one is omni-channel content experience. You can seamlessly deliver content to AEM sites, mobile apps, CRM, IART, chatbots and other forms. The next one is AI powered documentation. This allows smart tagging and smart cropping based on Adobe Sensei for faster content discovery and delivery. The next one is native integration with Adobe products, built in integration with Adobe Creative Cloud and Adobe Experience Cloud. The next one is cloud enabled. Now AEM guides leverage the Adobe Experience Manager cloud native capabilities like always current, scalable, secure and global. It means AEM as a cloud now supports AEM guides. Let us now quickly see the setup. The add-on for AMS and on-prem AEM version can be downloaded from software dis distribution center. For AEM as a cloud, the add-on is directly enabled through cloud manager. There are two version of packages. One is UUID and non-UUID builds. The key difference between the UUID and non-UUID builds are one is asset identification, the next one is reference creation. For non-UUID build, for assets, all assets are identified using the path. So for UUID build, all assets are identified using their UUID, means unique ID generated by the system. Then reference creation. Again, all content references are created based on their paths for non-UUID build. For UUID build, all content references are created based on their UUID. Again, Adobe recommends to go with UUID build if you are a new customer. Also for existing customer, the non-UUID build can be upgraded to UUID build. Again, AEM guides part of AEM assets license or it can be licensed separately. Now, my case, I am using AEM 6.5.15.0, the latest AEM version, then 4.1 UUID release for AEM guides for AEM 6.5. This is the base version, then upgraded to 4.1.3 UUID release for AEM guides. You can see here, these two packages are installed. One is uh, 4.1, the base package, then the 4.1.3, the upgraded package. So now let me go to AEM start. Now if you go to this start, then you can see a new section called guide. Also if you go to tools, you can see additional section guides. Click on that, you can see a lot of configurations. I'm not going to deep dive this. Maybe in further videos, we can see the details. Let me go back to guides. I'm going to create a simple document and going to generate PDF. So it has a lot of sections. Maybe we can see this all details in another video. So I go to repository, this one. I'm going to create a data topic and data map. Data topic is a individual topic. 
data map is grouping of topics you can link multiple topics or reference it so you can generate pdf for map or you can um, generate the pdf for topic so i will go with the topic before that what i will do is i will create two folders so create a folder uh, maybe i will give the name as uh, uh, topics so we can group this so going to create it under content dam that's fine okay then i will create another one maps this is again content dam okay fine i got two top two folders now now i will go and create a new uh, data topic so here i am going to put it under topics fine now maybe i will give, give a title here um, test topic this fine create okay the topic is created let me dismiss this you can click it yeah here you can see the source view it's a xml view also you can go to author view so what i'm going to do is maybe i will add an image here now select this select file select this that's fine insert you can add any, any other uh, elements here but i am going to for the demo i am stopping here so now you can save this you can do a preview that's fine then now what i am going to do is i am going to create a map click on this again select now data map so i am going and putting it here in the maps title maybe test maps fine create it fine now i will edit this yeah now what i am going to do is i am going to link the topic to this map so for that i am clicking here now just enter that um, now you can see lot of options i am going with the topic reference that's fine I will select this topic select this yeah this is fine now you can save it also you can preview the fine then you can go to source view you can see now if you see map then topic reference is there so this is fine let us now create a output preset click on output click on this plus now select I am going with the PDF now give a name maybe test underscore pdf is fine add you can create multiple uh, presets so this where to save the output path you can specify the layout all those options i'm going with the default this is fine now now again i will go back to author let me go to the topics now so double click on the topic now go again preview because you created the preset now you can see this option as download as pdf you can click on that it will generate the pdf and download it yeah now the pdf is generated and downloaded just to click on this you can see the topic detail here the test topic and the image what you specified also click on these three dots on this test topic you will see download as pdf also if you want to quick generate the document um, other than pdf presets you can use this also view in asset ui uh, more options are there preview um, you can use it also double click on this test maps now so it will go, take you to the map view then if you come here again you can see um, generate output you can generate the test pdf same view in asset ui also you can open the uh, dashboard click on this yeah here you can see all this output presets also like uh, output what are the test pdf or what are the pdfs you generated the history will be uh, displayed here you can delete it um, also what topic is uh, linked to that uh, any conditions or other other configurations you are enabled even you can see the reports like uh, uh, topic summary um, how much uh, uh, view and all those details you can uh, see here even you can uh, see the manage the translation uh, over here let us see more details in the upcoming videos.
Thanks all for watching the video. See you all in the next video.